Alma didn't go into the details of their last call. She told herself she had to protect her friend's dignity, her privacy. But it was her own failure Alma was most ashamed of. Not about declining to spring her friend from the mental ward, but about remaining silent all those years when Alma suspected her friend wasn't well. Back in Catholic school, the nuns had called these sins of omission. For several years, Alma kept an eye out. She'd type her friend's name in search engines. No recent novels, readings, lectures. She had vanished. It was as if Alma had imagined her friend along with the other characters in her books.